morning everyone it's Mish here uh, and today we're going to be doing another card in the card a week till Christmas um, so thank you for joining me today if you're new here welcome if you're returning uh, thank you so much um, and if you do like what you see today then please hit the like button and subscribe I'd love to have you um, so this card here I was I was uh, scrolling around on Pinterest uh, and I saw this card I haven't seen a tutorial for it, um, but it it looks pretty simple to me, um, although maybe I'm missing something. But um, So it's called the Concertina card, and today I thought we would do this uh, three ways. Um, so the first way is just the way that I saw it. Um, so I think it's such a cute little card. It's kind of like a book. Uh, it opens up and... Um, you've got the little concertina and you have a couple places uh, for some tuck spots. Uh, so this is the first way um, that we're going to do it uh, today. So I'll set that aside and for what we're going to need um, for your cardstock, um, and I'll just zoom in a little bit there, we're going to need a piece of paper nine by five and a half. I'm, I'm too zoomed in, but nine by five and a half here uh, two pieces four by five and a quarter we're gonna need one piece that's ten and a half by uh, two and a quarter and we are gonna score it six times uh, each block is gonna be one and three uh, quarters so the scores are and we'll do it on the scoreboard but one, one and three quarters three and a half five and a quarter seven and eight and three quarters and then we need two little pieces for our tags, which are uh, three and three quarters by two. Okay, so that's for our cardstock. And then for, for this one, for the patterned paper, we're gonna need four pieces, um, five and a quarter by four. And these are for the inside and the outside panels. Um, if you want them the same, then just cut uh, four pieces the same. Um, I actually want um, different ones. So I want, um, I think I wanted these one, this, this one to go on the outside um, and then this kind of pattern to go on the inside. So we're going to need four of those. You're going to need two pieces, three and a quarter by five, five, and that's to decorate the inner pocket. So I've chosen those ones. And then we're going to need uh, two pieces of three and a half by one and three quarters and that's to decorate the inside of the tag and then we're going to need six pieces one and a half by two so I'm just going to use this strip to cut it okay so that's uh that's what we're going to need for this one so we're just going to zoom out and we'll get on with it um so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our um sorry for re reaching we're, we're going to take our nine uh, by five and a half and we're going to score it four four and a quarter from each end or four and a qu quarter and, th and three and a quarter but we're going to go um, four and a quarter which is here okay and then you can either turn it around and do your other uh, four and a quarter or it's just a half an inch so you could just go to four and three quarters which we'll do now. Okay, so that makes our inside. Um, so while we have the scoreboard out, I'm gonna go back to that long piece where those scores are, and we're gonna score at one and three quarters. We're gonna score at three and a half, five and a quarter, and seven. And eight and three quarters, which is here. Okay, so each box that we make there will now be uh, two by one and three three quarters. And then I'm just going to fold it like an accordion, trying to keep it straight, and line up those scores and press it out. Okay, so that's going to be our concertina band. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. 
And I think that's all the scoring that we need to do. So we can set that aside. Okay, so for um, so for the outside, I'm actually gonna press this fold a bit too. I'm gonna line up my line up my sides and press that so that it's straight. And then I'll do that on the other side. Line up that fold and press it out. Okay. All right, so that's uh, sort of our card book. And then for the outside, I just wanted this kind of plain paper. And it looks like it's writing. And I just want to get it right side up. I thought this would be more of a, a, a like a more masculine card. I am using my Tombow uh, tape runner just to tape that down. You can use glue. Um, just uh, go go sparingly with the glue because it is uh, paper on paper. So um, if you use too much, it can it can warp a little. Um, I often turn my card um, upside down so I can kind of see what my my border is going to be. So here's my um, here's the my uh, my mat and then or my base and then I want to just kind of check and see. It sometimes saves me from uh, having too much of a border on one end or, or the other. Okay, so the thing that I haven't done, which we can do, we can just do on the inside, is I also, you're also going to need a piece of ribbon, okay, so um, to tie, you don't have to, I just put put it on so you could tie, tie the card. Um, but we can also, we can put it on uh, when we put the inside mat on. It's no big deal. It's no big a deal. All right. I don't think that really matters, but the writing's so small. All right. So we've got the inside down. So now I will put um, some ribbon. And I don't need a lot. I think I, I think that's plenty. So I'll take two pieces, which are roughly, two pieces roughly, uh, five, this is five and an eighth, but I'm sure five would be fine. Uh, and then we'll just cut those at a bit of an angle. And then um, I like to put it in the middle because that's just kind of who I am. Um, so. To find your middle, it's just uh, two and three quarters from each end. So two and three quarters is half of five and a half, which is what this, this base is. So two and three quarters. All right, so I'm just gonna take a piece of my runner tape, make a little line about here. Here. I'm not going to put it right to the edge because my mat isn't going to go right to the edge. So I don't want that bit of tape um, overhanging. Um, so I just want to go in by at least um, a quarter, I guess. And then just put my, put my ribbon there and there. Okay. So then we can get our inside mat down. Got a lot of stuff on my desk here. And I'm just going to, yeah, I want it to go this way, I think. our inside and our other inside. Another rainy day here. We've just had no summer. It's rained almost every day of the summer. When it wasn't raining I was working so and now uh, well it's not it's, it's almost September now. I am filming this a bit early. 
Um, so we have some really um, heavy rain there the last 24 hours more today and thunderstorms. But um, I'm expecting to get some of that uh, Hurricane Franklin to hit Wednesday or Thursday, but we're not really sure at this point um, what, how that's going to look. I live in Nova Scotia, so we sometimes get get the weather. All right, so for um, the inside pocket, so for, for this inside uh, pocket, which we're going to do next, uh, we're going to take our cardstock and measure down to uh, or measure up two and an eighth. Where's my pencil? From the from uh, the left. Well, this, so this is cardstock, so it doesn't really matter. Um, which side that you do your, your measurements. When we get into the pattern uh, paper, it does. Um, but I'm going to measure two and, an eight, uh, two and an eighth. I just want to double check that. I think it's it might be two, two and a quarter. Yeah. We're going to measure up two and a quarter. So I just go there and make my mark two and a quarter from each each side two and a quarter okay so what we're going to do is then get um, I'm going to get my trimmer out but if you don't have a tr uh, trimmer then what you'll do is you'll put your ruler um, from the edge that point um, on the inner corner and come out to that mark and just chop that off I'm going to do it on my trimmer I love my Fiskars tr trimmer so I'm just going to line up that point and then I'm going to line up that mark and just going to chop that off. When I go to do an angle cut, um, I often, if I remember, sometimes I forget, but I will go, so I'll line it, I'll line up that piece and then I'll pick up the blade and I'll drop it kind of in the middle of the paper. Uh, that way it's not sort of mang mangling the edge. Sometimes it's hard to come in on, on, on the edge. Um, so that's going to be our inner um, pockets. But while I've got the trimmer, um, however, I, um, I got to cut this down a bit more. So we want three and three quarters by five. So I've got three and three quarters and I just need to take off a little bit there okay um, so this is where it matters if you've got patterned uh, paper with this I, I kind of want I want so that's Greenland up at the top and that's the Appalachians that's where Barbie lives I believe from Nellie and Ruth Designs lives in the Appalachians. Um, so, so, so this is how I want it. Um, so what I'm going to do is make my mark on the inside corners. So this one is uh, it's going to be two and an eighth. Excuse my head if my head is stuck in there. So we want it right about there, and the same, and the same on this side. I know I'm pulling off screen, but I don't want to get my head in the way. Okay, so we've made our marks, and then we're just going to do uh, the same, the same thing. I guess it doesn't really matter how you do your pockets. You could do them that way, or you could do them that way. In the um, in the one that I seen on Pinterest, all right. In the one that I seen on Pinterest, it was this way, I believe. But you could put your pockets this way. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I think I'll do that this way. So if I'm going to do it that way, I want to make my mark on the other side. So I want to take off that mark and this mark, wherever it was. And I want to do it because um, I want them like this. Yeah, so. So I want it on this side, which is two and an eighth right here. That's going to be on the left right-hand pocket. 
and then I want it on this side, two and an eighth, because that's going to be my left hand pocket. And then again, you're just going to line up those marks uh, with um, with the opposite side corner. So I got that mark. I've got the corner. That mark and the corner. Uh, so today's uh, one of the variations that we're going to do is actually going to be a Christmas a Christmas themed card. I know not everybody celebrates Christmas, um, but you can ch uh, change it, change it up. You can decorate them obviously um, however you want to. I'm hoping that's my mark there. I can't quite see where that mark is. This is such a busy paper. Two and an eighth, yeah. Okay, so we've got those inner pieces. So now I want to take my other, uh, this long strip that I had, and I want to cut that um, so that I've got my little mats. So this piece is uh, one and three quarter, um, and I want it to be, I want it to be one and a half by two. So I'm going to need to cut this down to one and a half. So, trying to make sure it's straight. It's a long piece. Okay, and then I'll hold it down and then just cut that piece off. And then I want to cut those these into two inches. Into two inches. One, two. Me and my scoreboard are fighting this morning. Three. So I should have two, four, six pieces. So those are going to be my mats. So I'm, I'm finished with my uh, trimmer, so I can put that away. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to put down... We could put our um, panels on now, we might as well. And I'm gonna just use, for this one here, I don't need them tacked down um, that, that difficult. So uh, with, the, with the cardstock, the blue uh, pieces, you're only gonna do three, si uh, three sides. With this here, we can just put, um, I'm just putting a little bit of Elmer's glue and it's, it looks like I'm doing a lot, but it, this comes out in like a micro. Um, and you don't need a lot to, to tack down this layer. And I'm just going to try, this is where the glue is a little bit more your friend because you can wiggle this around a little bit until you get it to where it looks like there's an equal border. And then I'm just going to do the same um, on this side. I love these kind of aviation maps and... Um, compasses and direction finders and stuff. Okay, so we've got that down. Um, so now we can go ahead and tack down um, those uh, three sides. And I am just going to use a bead of glue along there and along this bottom edge and up the side here. Okay, and then we'll just get that set down on, get, get, get your margins even, and we'll get that set down. Okay, oops, I moved it when I pressed it. One good thing about, uh, well, Elmer's glue and um, is that it dries clear and it dries like a mat so you don't really see it um, things like your Tombow can dry a bit sticky um, so this this here is a common one that I sometimes use and that can dry a bit tacky uh, but that's not always a bad thing um, because you can use it for all kinds of things like foiling and um, putting your your um, your gilting flake your gilding flakes and stuff 
But for something like this, you just don't want it tacky if it oozes out the side because then things are going to stick to it. Okay, so we've got that down. So we'll just set that aside to dry and then we'll work on our little concertina. So uh, with this, I, I debated to put the blue because I thought maybe the blue might show that up, but some of my pieces are actually, that I want to decorate this with are actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do it that side because I think that this might be a bit too much brown and it's not quite the shade of brown that is with, it's not the same tone. So I think I'll just put it this way. And I wanted to do a more masculine card. Um, and then I'll do a more feminine card and then another variation uh, as a Christmas themed card. With the Christmas themed card, there'll be more room in it to add bits and bobs. If you wanted to put a, a little piece of chocolate or something, but we'll talk about that when we get to that one. The, the downside I felt with this card is that when you, if you were going to put this in a normal envelope, you, you couldn't. You would need to do either a dimensional envelope, which you can do on most scoreboards, or if you have the We Are Memory Keepers envelope uh, maker, or you can find a pattern on, online or buy, buy one. Um, so there's a lot of options for how you can mail it um, or put it in an envelope. If you're just giving it to somebody in a gift, um, you can just put the card on top of the gift um, so you wouldn't really need an um, envelope. And I think in my cynicism that some of this, this card was designed um, to promote one of Stampin' Up's boxes that, that they have. Um, so um, what I found when I laid it um, just in a card pile is it started to warp a bit see because you don't really need that thickness for something like this I mean it's it's probably it, I mean it's not a bit you know that much of a, a thickness so we'll we'll look at a different way to, to make this card um, okay so we've got our concertina and we have our mats down so we're gonna fix it here uh, and we can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to start on just the one end. All right, so I'll just uh, glue that right down. And then I'm just going to go over to, to the edge with it, make sure that it's even at the bottom. It's not overhanging on the bottom. And then I'll tack that down. And then what I like to do is close it up. Okay, and then we are going to just make sure that when we tack down that side that the card can close okay that it's not kind of off kilter because of this kind of spine it's going to sit up a little bit so you want it to be able to close be pulled in and close okay so that looks like it's fine there so I just want to open up to see where, where we are with positioning and that's fine okay so we have our insides done and it's shaping up to be super cute um, so I want to decorate uh, the outside. So I went to one of my stamp and um, die cuts and I just pulled out a bunch of stuff that I thought um, might look good on, on the outside. Um, so I've got a couple sailboats. I'm going to put one on the inside. They're both the same color, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to put a small sailboat on the inside. I'm going to put... Uh, one of these compasses on the inside and the outside. So that can go on the inside. That can go on the inside. And then I'll put this one on the outside. I've got an anchor and just a couple more things. I'd like to put one of those on the outside and one of those. Um, and then my saying. And then I have some little dials or hands for the uh, compass. So I'm not going to add a lot of dimension there. 
um, as far as puffing thing, things up uh, too, uh, too awful high. But I am going to start maybe with a sailboat and just going to put a little bit of glue on this one and then maybe put that kind of sailing in, in the background. And then I think I'll go ahead and put the lighthouse down. Put that maybe a little bit lower and towards the center, maybe a little bit up a bit. Okay, and then I think I'll put, maybe I'll put one of these little compasses down over here. Oh, and I wanted to put, first of all, I wanted to put some seaweed in the background. So we'll put that kind of in the background. And then we'll put the lighthouse over top of that. Like so. And then we'll get our compass down. Push those down. Okay. And then I think I'll do this little steering wheel, the rudder wheel is it, I guess, the helm. Uh, we'll put that maybe, oh, right about there, I guess. Okay. And then I thought about that anchor just tuck that maybe this way. So just making a little bit of a collage. Um, use whatever you have uh, in your in your stash. That little bit of twine uh, just gives it a little bit of uh, dimension. Okay, so then just gonna put on the sentiment. How's that looking? I think the sentiment can go about there. It's fine. And what, you, what we could do with the sentiment is prop that up on um, some dimensionals. So d dimensionals are just bits of foam um, that have been cut into shapes. So we'll, um, with this card, because it's got that uh, extra spine, you know, you're, if you add, you know, this up on dimensionals, you are adding even more uh, space. I'm going to offset that a little bit. How's that look? Okay, and then I think I'll put this little knot of rope. Put that kind of off here. All right, so that this might be nice if uh, you know you have somebody who would like a more ma masculine card. And maybe they're, I don't know, graduating or they're starting out on a new journey. Um, the other thing I want to do is I want to take um, one of these, this one here. I want to take this little, there's Chester coming. One of these little hands for the compass, I'll put that there. And then I have um, some little rivets that I just got these at the dollar store and we'll put a little rivet in the center there. Okay, so that's that's the front of the card. Uh, so, the, so there we have our front and then we'll open it up. And on the inside, I thought maybe we'll put maybe a couple little sailboats On the inside, mm, gosh, I'm not convinced with that. We'll set that aside for now. Um, but um, so for our tags, um, I'm just going to use my tag punch, and I'm going to just put that in. I like to make sure that there's an e equal amount on each side. I'm just going to cut that as in my punch. You could just uh, angle the corners. Um, or if you had a different punch, that would be fine. 
Um, so I'm going to do the same thing with uh, my inner pieces. However, with one of them, okay, so I'm going to put this in and make sure it's e equal on both sides. And then I'm just going to layer that on there, but I want to cut off the end. So I'm going to cut it right about there. Okay, and you can put that back on the trimmer, um, or you can just, just trim it off. Okay, so, so that's that one. Just gonna glue that one down. And again, you could do it however, whatever pattern pa uh, paper that you had. If you're doing this for more of an in insert into a junk journal, then you might wanna do it with coffee stain paper or something more neutral. Okay, so got that down and kind of how I, I like it. I'm happy with that. It's not exactly the same border around, but I'm fine with that. Um, we're going to take another piece of ribbon here, whatever I have left. I'm just going to put that in half. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put that in half again and then I'll thread it through from the back and then just stick my make find the loop and stick my ends through okay and then that just creates a bit of a pull for for your for your tag um, so for this one here I didn't have another little piece of that size um, and I didn't just want to cut up a piece of paper. So what I thought I would do is just do a bit of a, a layer. So I want it, I want it about this wide. So what I'm going to do is just put some glue on the back of here and then I'll lay this one down on that side and then I'll just Mary up that side. Okay, and that's all I, that's, and then just make sure it's straight. Sometimes I don't think my eyeballs are straight. That looks pretty straight. Sort of, I keep getting off a little bit on the bottom. All right, um, and then again, I'm just gonna go back to my punch, line it up so that there's equal on both sides or as best I can. Sometimes it's hard to see when you have the over, like I'm looking at it from off to the side. Um, right, and then we want to again, and that one's cut to size, perfect. And then we'll glue that down. Like so, take our ribbon and just push it through. And make our loop. Stick the ends through. Can't seem to grab that other end there. Sometimes my arthritis, I have arthritis in my thumbs. It, uh, Makes me a bit clumsy. Okay, so we have our tags. And then just lastly, um, just picking up some items to decorate um, our little panels here. So I've got some steering wheels. I have a couple shiny anchors. I have a knot and a brown steering wheel. And I have another one of these. So without spending too much time deliberating. So I don't, oh, that would look nice. Just having that on the inside, because that kind of matches. Like so, that would look cute. And then I could put 
the sailboats on here. And that's a brown steering wheel. So, and some such like that, some, some kind of fashion. Um, so I won't take the time now, just, I'm sure you don't want to watch me just decorate that. Um, but you can decorate that um, however, obviously, that you like. Um, I do like like that. At the end, I'll I'll uh, show the, the finished, I'll finish it and, and show it at the end. Um, so that's the basic uh, one that I saw on uh, Pinterest. Okay, so it has the half inch spine, um, it opens up, and you've got your little tuck spots there. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to the next one. Okay, so I, I had gone away, and it's actually a couple days later, so I do apologize if I repeat something that I've, I've already just said. Um, but we've just finished the um, concertina the first way, and I'm actually going to show four ways. I think in the beginning of the video I said three. Um, so I just want to go back to the, to the one we just did. Uh, so I have um, tarted it up a bit. So I think it's just, it's lovely. Um, and then, you know, all these pieces come out. You can put your little note. Uh, so you can either write your note on the back or you can add it in a little note card and put it in your tuck spot. Okay, so that's number one. So a variation of this one is just taking the same card dimensions um, as we just did and making your your box the same way and, de and decorating the front. Um, and then instead of uh, putting your tuck on as, as a flat piece, making a couple extensions. So to make my extensions, I just used a three quarter inch um, paper and I folded it in half. And then I needed um, pieces that were four and a half long, four and two inches long. And then I just glued ha half of it onto um, the, the back of the tuck. And then I'm basically just going to put that, uh, glue that down on all four sides. And then what this does is it just allows some dimension in the, in the tuck spot. So you can put more things into that, into the tuck. So I did that for both sides and we'll get that down. Okay, and I did a uh, kind of holiday theme on this one just to show that, you know, obviously you can do any kind of theme. It's not sitting down. Might have to leave that for a minute and come back to it. The El Elmer's glue usually holds really well, which is just what I use. But if it doesn't hold, I've got some fab some Fabri-Tac there. This is quite stiff paper as well. Okay, I think that's I think that's got it. Pretty sure that's got it. Okay, so then. Um, so for the little concertina, again, it's the same uh, uh, dimensions. I just went ten, ten and a half uh, by two and a quarter there, and then I scored the same thing: one, one and three quarters, three and a half, uh, five and a quarter, seven, eight and three quarters. Um, but with this one, before I actually tack down my little uh, panels, I left some tuck spots so you can. Um, put little notes. Um, what what I did, uh, what I've done, a, a, you know, a few years is I've given the girls advent boxes, and then on the inside I make these little um, fold-out cards, and I put a little saying there. So you could put a little saying on it, um, whatever. And I just thought that was so cute. Um, so again, we're just gonna t uh, tack down this side and then let's fold this up and we'll tack down this side so it 
close this properly like so. You want to make sure your spine is straight. Okay, and we'll tack that down. And then, so, so now we have extra d dimension there. So we can put things in there. I've made um, a couple little tags that uh, when you give it to, to somebody, they can use, use for their own um, gifts. So we put a couple tags in, in there. Um, it can fit um, a tea bag if you want to give some pe peppermint uh, tea. Um, it can fit all kinds of stuff. So uh, it can fit a gift card. I just made this out of just some scrap uh, paper. And of course in Canada, who, who doesn't love Tim Hortons? So we'll stick that in there. And then at the dollar store last year, I found these stickers. Um, and I took some of my stamps and I just stamped on them. Um, this one here is, in the coldest moments of the year, my heart is warm because you're near. If kisses were snowflakes, I'd send you a blizzard. So I just did, did a bunch of these. And um, in last year's little... Uh, gift accordion thing I gave out. I put some st stickers in that people uh, can use. And so because you've got that dimension, that folds really nicely. Okay. And you can put, we did the, the ribbon tie. Uh, you don't re really need it with this one. Um, or you can put a belly band, um, fasten it any way that you like. But I just think that is just a gorgeous little card. Um, so that was uh, kind of number two is just doing using the same d dimensions but making some expanders uh, so that you can fit more in the pockets and then I think that justifies that half inch spine a, a little bit better okay so that's number two so then number three is a little bit modified so with number three uh, you don't have that one inch spine. You basically just make it like a card. Okay, so you just ta uh, ta take out that spine. And with this one, um, there, this uh, accordion is a little bit different. So with this one here, the accordion I made nine inches long by two. And I scored at one and a half, three, four and a half, six, and seven and a half. And with this one here, I didn't put little mats on, on there. That was a, a busy little accordion, so I didn't really feel that it needed anything. And with this one here, I made the tags like a traditional little tag. Um, so I'm going to do one of these here with us now. And so the pieces of that I've got is uh, these ones here. And with this one here, I did add some little some little mat layers there okay um so i'm just going to move this off to the side i'm going to get up my scoreboard and you could do this on your trimmer if you didn't have um not obviously with your cutting blade but with uh with just a bone folder um so here again we're going to score at i can find my bone folder we're going to score at one and a half three four and a half, six, seven and a half. Okay, so that's gonna give us our accordion. So when we fold it, you, again, you wanna make sure that you're lining that up as you're folding them back and forth and pressing them down re re really well. The key is to get them so that they're not, uh, they're not really stiff. Okay, so we've got our little accordion piece. And then with your card base, you can either just fold it in half or score it. I'm going to score mine this time, I think. And if you're going to score this in half, this is uh, eight and a half. So we're going to score at four and a quarter. All right. And then again, you just want to make sure your, your lines are lined up. So that's all we need for the scoreboard. So this piece um, is again, eight. It starts out eight and a half by five and a half. Okay, so th this um, in Canada or the United States is just half of a letter size, eight, eight and a half by 11. I've just cut it in half and then folded it in half. Okay, so there's our card base. And then for the layers, 
we are going to need um, three. So my three patterned papers I've done I've used differently. So let's get this organized here. So our three uh, we need three pieces of patterned paper, five, five and a qu quarter by four. I'm not putting one on the back like I did with the other ones. Um, I'm just going to put one on the front. <clears throat> if I can get my thing working here. I think it's me that needs to get working this morning. I just had got out of bed and had my shower, so I'm just I haven't even had coffee yet this morning. But I wanted to get this video finished because there's another one I want to record this afternoon. Um, so uh, this one here is just going to be a, a mat. Again, I just kind of sometimes line it up to see what my margins are going to be like. So that my eyeball knows what it's looking for. And I do find that it does help. I've been doing cards for, well, I'm not even going to date myself, but I'm going to say 30 years or more. And I still often line, line it up. Okay, so that's going to be our inside. And then I'm just going to go over cutting that tuck again. So with the tuck, you want the angles to go from the inside, uh, left-hand side, to the upper corner on the right-hand side. And that's for your right-hand panel. For your left-hand panel, you're going from the uh, lower right side to the corner on the upper left side. And then I just make a mark. I find my pencil. So I mark up, I mean, there's probably lots of ways to do it, but I mark up one and a quarter on the um, on the cardstock, so one and a quarter or two and a quarter, sorry, two two and a quarter on each inner side. That's two and a quarter. So there's my marks for those. And while I have my ruler, I'm going to do my inside panels, um, and I'm going to measure up. And if this is directional, you want to make sure you're going in the right direction. I'm going to measure up two and an eighth um, on on the inside of each of these. Okay, so that's two and an eighth. So I need to make four cuts. So we'll get the we'll get the trimmer out. And then I'm going to line up that inner corner with the opposite top corner. I'm going to line that up on my trimmer. And then I'm just going to go from, from the uh, middle of the cut line and cut. Some, sometimes it is a bit of a fiddle to get uh, both of the lines matched up, but but uh, you can, trust me. Uh, so this one here, we're going from the inner to the opposite top corner. Okay, and then we'll do the same here. This is our last, our last cut. And I'm getting a glare. I can't, oh, there it is. Got another rainfall warning in effect for this afternoon. My goodness, we've had rain this year. All right, so I'm going to put my just going to put my layers down uh, with a little bit of glue. And this is a, just a solid layer. So if you wanted to make an additional tuck. Um, then only tack down three sides of this panel. Okay, and then we'll do the same on this side. Uh, if your pencil mark shows, you can just erase that a little bit. Okay, and then we'll... And I like to use this uh, glue with this little bit just because you might need to, to wiggle it around a bit. Okay, and then just going to put our tucks in there. And for this one here, um, just like we did on the first one there, I'm only going to do the three sides. Okay, put, put that down. And then three sides. All right. And then we'll put that down. Okay, so then with our accordion, which was a little bit shorter, I'm using um, this side, so I have 
done some little panels for this one. I think that one's too big. Um, so I've got my, these are, I just have to get my measurements, one and a quarter by one and three quarters. Oops. Don't want the pinking shears. Although that might have looked cute if I had to pink the edges. Um, okay, and for and for this one here, uh, you can make your little tucks again in the top if you want. I'm just going to lay them down flat. Get them all in there. I've been really enjoying doing my my videos, although. Sometimes it seems like it is a bit of a second job and not in that I don't enjoy it. It's just the amount of time it takes to kind of prepare your material and get some examples and then uh, tape it and edit it. And then when you upload it, you know, putting all the things in the descriptions. But I, but I do enjoy it. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. I have other playlists, so some journaling playlists and collage. Okay, so again, we're going to just, okay, we cut out there for a sec, um, but I just uh, glued that side down and then put glue on that side, folded it over, and then put my back side down so that it was adhered. Okay, so um, for the outside, um, I do want to send this to a friend of mine, so I'm just going to put my little flower down. I did this with just some embossing uh, with some sparkly emboss. I don't know if you, that picks it up there, but I, I just love that. And I think sh uh, she will too. And then I'm just going to put a couple little leaves in there. I have a couple more leaves here. And then I did prop up some happy birthday. Her birthday coming up. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little happy birthday, trying to make sure it's a bit level. Okay, and then for the inside, which I'll do later, I just embossed and colored a bunch of little, uh, a bunch of little flowers that I'm going to put on there. Um, I did also uh, stamp out um, some butterflies and birds so I'm just going to decorate it uh, with that and then on the inside I'm going to put thanks for brightening my day because she always does make me laugh in some way and then again I'll load it up uh, with with some tags and and, and our other stuff okay um, so so just to go over again card uh, Version number three is we don't have that half inch spine and then our concertina is only nine by two. Otherwise, and we don't put a back pan, uh, panel on. And otherwise, it's basically the same other dimensions, okay? So that's number three. And then number four is just a variation of number three. So, but number four, is more for my junk journal side. So with this one, um, oh, and for this one here, I, uh, the one that we just did, I also want it to, I'm gonna tart it up in other ways, but I wanna put a nice little pearl there. It, that just adds um, a, little, a little dimension. All right, so I had those out, let's put those away. Right, so for this one here, my bits and pieces are the same the same card base but I've done this one on co coffee dyed paper and I've used the same dimensions as I did for the card the uh, the number three so I've used a piece of cardstock that I've uh, caught coffee dyed at eight and eight and a half by five and a half I'm just folding that in half, okay, and folding that in half. 
I'm not putting anything on either side because I'm going to eventually put that uh, in my junk journal and I'm going to glue it down between two pages like, like this. So I am going to put an inner panel on. I'm only going to go lightly with this glue because this is very thin paper um, and it's Elmer's glue, which is water-based glue. So it will warp my paper. Um, if you if you want that not to happen, then use a glue like P PVA glue, or um, I mean uh, Fabri-Tac glue, or um, use um, a tape adhesive, a dry adhesive, or you could use um, a glue stick. I don't really have a lot of luck with glue sticks. Anytime I put something down with glue stick, it it doesn't hold, and it could be the glue stick that I'm using. But okay, so we've got that down, and then. For our pockets, I am not going to do a matte layer, and I'm going to ink my my pages, my sides, so that you can see where the pocket is. I'm going to go all around my sides so that when I lay it down, I can see a clear a clear edge there. Okay, and you could go around all your layers um, and ink it all up. I thought that mo most of that's going to be hidden with this layer, except for the top. I could have, I could have distressed the top bit. Okay, and then I'm going to go around this quickly. Just get that all distressed up. And if this isn't the look that you go for, then you know don't, you don't have to distress at all. But I'm going to put this in my Victorian junk journal, and uh, and I want the uh, edges distressed like so. Okay. And yeah, I think maybe I should have distressed the inside there. I what I but what I can do is distress this bit where it folds in yeah I like that much better okay so so we've got that and then I'm just gonna put a wee bit of glue again around the three sides tack that down and this one here because I didn't use my matte layer, you would want this one. I, I did this one a little bit uh, smaller, but you'd want the this one um, the size of four by five and a quarter. Okay. If you're just going to do one single panel and you want it to go from edge to edge, then you're going to do that. Uh, this one here I didn't. I did it the size of the um, the layer. So. This, this one here is three, three and three quarter by five. Okay, but if you want it to go from edge to edge, then you'd need it a little bit bigger. Okay, so we've got that down. And then the concertina uh, is the same size as number three. It's nine by two. And I did cut a bunch of little uh, mats to go on there all right and with this one here I am gonna leave um, some tuck spots so I'm not gonna leave a tuck spot um, on the very end actually let me lay these out and see where I want them okay I'm gonna put a tuck spot you, you, you can do a tuck spot with all of them, but I'm going to put a tuck spot on three of them. So this here will be a tuck spot. Okay, so we'll lay that down. Oops, and again, I'm forgetting. I should distress these. All right, so I'm going to take that, that off for a minute. Unless it's too late. Oh, why did that stick down to all of it? Oh, right, because this is confusing myself here. Okay, so I'm just gonna distress those before I put them down. Like 
so and I could have had these done all beforehand but if you don't know what distressing means then this is a good uh, demonstration for you all right that one I already had glue on this one I did too so we'll just go easy Okay, right on. So I'm finished with my distressing. So I think what I'll do, just in case I decide to move things around, is I'm only gonna put down, I'm gonna make a tuck out of all of these. The top bit looks distressed already because that's somehow the coffee settled. Um, in that band along the band and then I'm gonna just fold those and give those a little bit of a distress That's what's kind of left on my on my dauber there okay so let's get these down again I'm just using my El Elmer's glue you might want to use Something, but there's only a little bit on there just just to hold that down so I don't really think it's going to warp too, uh, too awful much make sure you've got your things the right way up okay and then my goal was that I wanted to use um, a few a few of these as a little tuck And you can do uh, so much more with this than what I'm going to be doing, but okay. And then, and then this is the basic form for it. Okay, so once we get this one glued down, we're going to glue the whole con concertina down like uh, we've all already been doing. So just glue one side. Okay, and then stick that down like so. Fold your concertina, put your adhesive on the other side and then fold your book on top of it, okay? And then that allows it to, to fold properly. And then, um, what should do? Make sure that you got it straight. And this one here you do want pretty, so lay pre pretty flat because you're gonna glue it between two pages. Okay, so uh, then for this one here, I've just got uh, some butterflies. This is actually um, from My Porch Prints, this digi kit. These are from Tracy Fox, um, but the, the patterned paper and the little, uh, there we go. The, the butterflies in the patterned paper are from My Porch Prints. Which I do love their their digi kits. All right, and we'll put that on the end, and then we can have just a couple tuck spots for some little tags. Okay, if you find you can't get your your thingy in, you can take your bone folder gently and just expand that a bit and then your tags should go right in there. Okay, so I've got a little bit for some tags. If you had a little journal card you can put in, in there. I just made a couple little tags um, with some just some scrap uh, paper and you can use some stickers. So this is a recollection sticker pad. So I thought, well, maybe I'll just find something in here that we could decorate it with. 
I had seen some nice kind of, I don't really like a peachy colors uh, that much, but I can put, put a little flower in there. Um, just be careful that any, anything you put in, you, you don't want to get too close to the, um, to the spine, just so that, uh, to your folds, just because you don't want to, uh, you don't want it to stop it from, and you get the picture. So you can decorate that up as, as much as you like. So then one, once you've got it the way you want it, then hang on one sec, then you can go to a journal that you might want it put in and just find a couple pages like maybe I'm being too fussy here I've got ideas for most of my pages is, is the thing um, all right what about well maybe I don't want it in this one um, but the idea is that you just take two of your pages like such and then just glue that on into your journal so when you glue it in you can e either glue it all in just glue it in okay so that when you go to these pages and you o open them up um, you're gonna open up the concertina like such and then you'll have your, your bits and bobs um, you can just glue three sides of each panel so that you actually have a tuck spot um, which would be at the top of, of each one so you can glue that or glue it in or uh, tape it in however that you want it but I just thought that that was a clever kind of way to do um, a fourth kind of uh, idea with, with the con with the concertina so just to recap what we've done if I can find all my examples here we've done the first so here's the one that I saw on Pinterest okay it was basically just that uh, so we made uh, so we made one that was our first one you open it up and it's just a basic it's got your half inch spine and it's um, and this is a good masculine card um, and then a Christmas or occasion birthday Eve for any kind of occasion you can keep the half inch spine um, don't bother with the back unless you want to um, and then make your expanders so that you can put all kinds that you can really load it up um, if it's if it doesn't have the expanders it's just too tight you can put like a couple tags but you'd never be able really to squeeze in like a tea bag and gift cards and you know all kinds of stuff and with this one here we made some little tuck spots in the accordion so you could put a couple little messages and then we didn't put the half inch spine we just made the card where you can put your tucks in um, with uh, one of these here I didn't put the um, oh it's coming up um, so so and then a, a kind of a fall Thanksgiving blessings card uh, we kept that just card spine with with, with no uh, half inch spine uh, I didn't put little panels there I just used a piece of patterned paper um, so there was another example and then lastly one that could go into a junk journal where you could glue that straight in or glue it on three sides of each panel so that you've got a tuck spot so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, today if you did please give me a like and subscribe if you haven't um, I will be back next week with more card ideas and I do have uh, a couple other playlists so be sure to check those out uh, it's been great fun today. I hope you have a safe and happy week, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.